In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this control panel along with all these PLC schematics automatically using ePlan and IAB. So let's have a look what I've got in IAB. I've got a rack layout. I'm just going to export it to automation ML file format. So once I've exported that, I can jump into ePlan and go to project data, PLC, and then import data. So I'm going to import that file and then hit OK. So I can see in my PLC navigator, I've got the entire rack and everything in position. And I'm just going to move the rack into my main control panel. So right now, into my main control panel. So once I've done that, I'm going to assign some accessories really fast. So I want to add the wiring harnesses here. And then I'm going to generate the schematics for my project. So I've got a PLC generate schematic. So in here I can calculate the pages by using the calculate pages dialog. So I can just fill out this by going to mountain location and then also the type of document I want. And then I can start at page 20, for instance. I can do the same for the rack overview. So I'm going to start at page 10. And then I can begin to fill out all the different wiring schematics here. So if I want to grab a push button here, I can assign it to this input point, and I can just work my way through this list, adding function text if needed. So I can do this manually, or also, or also I can import a scheme I created earlier. So here's a demo that I've got here. Notice I filled out all the function text and everything has been signed and input. So I hit okay. I don't need to save the data, and now ePlan is gonna generate my schematics for me. So in here, I've got my rack layout, and then I've also got my NFPA ladder style drawings here. And you'll notice that all my individual wiring schematics have been assigned to the correct inputs and outputs, like so. So once I've done that, I can actually address the PLC cards by using the address function. So I just go over here, I can hit OK. And now the PLC cards are addressed and I can use this information when working in Studio 5000 later on. So once I've done that, I want to renumber everything. But first, I'm going to insert a power supply page. So here's a page macro is what we call this. And then I'm going to give it a page name of 01 and then hit OK. So here's my power supply page I created earlier. And this is just a simple power supply going to all my input cards and output cards. So once I've done that, I'm going to go back over here and then just going to renumber all my wires like so. And my numbering scheme is basically the name of the potential in the end following the source row it comes from. And then when it hits a PLC input or output, it assigns the address that we just assigned. Like so. So once I've done that, I'm pretty much done with my schematics at this point. I can go into my 3D layout. So here's a nice cabinet I created earlier. And I can spin around, look, move in and out. And if I want to isolate just the mountain panel, I can go over here and go show only mountain panel. So I've already laid out some wire ducts and some DIN rail. So let's start by placing our PLC. So I'm just going to go over here and drag it in like so. And then I can grab the rest of the rack here and then also drag that in like so. So it's going to snap in place. I can just place it here. And notice all of the accessories have been placed with this. And then if I zoom out, I can place all my circuit breakers for my power supply in one swoop. And then all my control relays I placed earlier. So I've got 16 of these. I can drag these in also. I can place those here. And then we've got the power supply. Again, I could drag that over. And I can begin placing all my terminals. So I can just drag those in, place completely, and press yes. So here's my inputs. Place those in line here. some output terminals and 
and finally some analog terminals with fuses on here. So once I'm happy with my control panel and everything placed, I can then go back over here and then use utilities reports and generate project reports. So it's generated for me a nice table of contents. It's also generated my cabinet layout here with everything labeled. It's given me a summarized parts list so I can use this for purchasing. And it's also given me my other parts list here showing every individual item and device tag. And that concludes this demonstration of using the generate schematic function with IAB in ePlan. If you have any questions, leave in the comments below and please subscribe to the channel 